welcome back to the channel. My name is T Cypher and today we're in the AVAB Harrier for DCS. Today we're going to be looking at how to deploy multiple JDAMs in one pass. This isn't a default feature in the a game at the moment, that is coming in the future, but this is more using how the systems interact with each other to enable it. For setup, we have on the left a uh, MSP, MPCD, the EHSD, or moving map. On the right, we have the team board. Also on the right, we can see MTC. This is where multi-track function will come in the future. We don't quite know what it's going to look like, but it should enable this to be done a bit more smoothly. On the left, what I've done, I've set the map, uh, the moving maps icon colors to red for clarity, and you do that simply by pressing map M and selecting color. You can select multiple colors. Right, so how are we going to do this? The start is we're going to work on the EHSD. So, I'm in my EHSD, I'm in FLIR mode, and we can see we have four targets at the uh, old Cobaletti runway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I, you will notice I'm in point track, I'm now going to zoom in, and I'm going to locate them. So we have point track one. Now this is the key to this, what we need to do, we need to select mark zero. Okay, so that's now assigned to mark point zero. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to the next one. Point track achieved. Mark point one. And the next target. Just going to let point track occur. Mark point two. And then the final one. Point track achieved. I would mention that you do not need to achieve a, more, a uh, point track for this function to work. Okay, next we're going to set up our GPU, so we're going to go air to ground, master arm on, GJ82, and fuse in. I'll also say that I've already gone into the stores page, and I've made enabled tone on release, just useful for hearing on release. Okay, so you'll notice we're presently in STP mode here. So what we're going to do now is going to go TDC to press, and that changes to its target mode. This is important. Okay, and now finally, we're going to do wait, uh, waypoint increments long to switch to GPU mode, so otherwise known as wing. So one, two, three, release. And now we have the release queue for the JDAM. Okay, so just to recap what we've done, we found each individual one and we've assigned them a mark point. And we've now assigned, uh, we've now brought the GPU in line and set it to active. Now here's the trick. What we're going to do, we're going to switch the T pod over to slave mode. What this does, it means this T-Pod will slave to wherever the EHSD is selected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to waypoint mark point zero, which was the first one we saw on here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to release active pause and uh, commence dropping some bombs. So active pause off and release one. And now I'm going to increment up my waypoints. Release two, increment, release three, increment, and release four. That's four JDAMs away. Okay. So if we go into F6, we can watch it a bit. You can see this one's probably heading to maybe the left, maybe the right, a bit too early to see this one. That's almost certainly heading right. This one, that's definitely heading left. So this is a nice little trick you can do. So if we go into F10, get nice and tight over the runway, what I can do, I can hit Control F11, and that will give us a nice view from above. Okay, we're just gonna wait for these bombs to glide in. We have your pass over, so the JDAM should be maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds. There we go, shack one, shack two, shack three, waiting for it, Ooh. 
Hmm. Ah, Shackball. Slight delay on that last one. Excellent. I hope you find that useful. Uh, please like and subscribe, and see you next time.